Well, we have a ton of hidden gems right here in mid-Michigan. One of the most amazing is the Shiawassee National Refuge. Here to tell us all about the fun, exciting activities going on there for families is Scott Simmons. Happy Friday, Scott. How are you? Good, and happy Friday to you. Of course. I see you brought your two little ones with you, so I want them to come sit right here next to us when we're okay, talking. Come okay, come on up, guys. Come on up. <laughs> okay, so Scott, while they're coming up, tell me, why is it so great to get outside for some fresh air? What can families do? What can they enjoy oh, this sure. summer there? Yeah, you know, I w it is a hidden gem. It's fantastic in that we've got 10,000 acres yeah. of con contiguous environment, wildlife, and as close as we are to an urban interface, it's really neat to kind of be able to escape those sounds of concrete yeah, and traffic. And you know, just go out there. We hear all the time from people that just love the, the mental refresh and yeah. connect with that tranquility. So yeah. I love when you say it's an escape. It is. It really <laughs> is. When I was looking at the pictures, look at that. I mean, just to hear the birds chirping and right. being the, the sunshine. Now, I know there are walks, fishing, mm -hmm. kayaking. And so much more. Tell us about. Yeah, what we so do about that. <clears throat> we've got about 15 miles of trails scattered north and south, and then you can go on there from winter to, gosh, uh, spring. You can do snowshoeing, hiking, photography, you name it. Yeah. Um, we've got probably the highlight is the six and a half mile auto tour oh. or a wildlife drive open from June to September that goes right through the heart of all these habitats. Yeah. And we get people from all over. We get some. Very rare wildlife. We have one there right now that people are coming from all over to get pictures of. And right. Yeah. And then we've got a few events we do. Like May 20th, we're having a plein air art event where there's going to be people out there doing paintings in a contest. Oh my and gosh. we've got a biking event that'll take place on the auto tour as well, May that's, 20th. Oh, that's so. great. Your, little, your name is? Anna. Yes. And you are? Anna. What are you guys like doing out there? I know it must be so exciting. Um, just hiking and catching fish. Yes. Fishing, oh, yes. riding your bike. Yes, sweetheart. I love that too. That's so great. Great exercise. Get outside, especially when the weather's nice, right? So what else would you like to tell our friends really about, you know, what can you do when you come out there? It's A lot of people don't know that it's available and right. that, you know, it's there it for is. anyone to use. Yeah, you know, that's amazing. We're one of 567 National Wildlife Refuges across the country. Yeah. And we have a bit of an identity problem in that we've done a bad job telling our story <laughs> okay. and, and what we are and what we do. So. People can come out there, they can learn about the restorations where we take habitat that's really degraded and messed up oh, and we beautiful. turn it back into this natural ecosystem. They can learn about the thousands of migratory birds that come through. Yeah. We do have your normal hunting and fishing programs like a lot of the state right. would. And then occasionally, as time allows, we, we I love going to classrooms or organizations and speaking. We can do programming to a degree. Uh, so yeah, uh, we just want the people to come out and learn about that natural heritage that they just don't know is out there. Yeah, and people can contact you for more information yes. and all of that. Yes. Thank you, sweethearts, for joining me. I'm <laughs> so glad my, my two little, you stay right here, my two little new little anchors right with me today. Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful summer. So you, you too. Do. You Thank you. I appreciate it. We ha oh my gosh, you have to go visit this hidden gym. It's right here for everyone to enjoy. If you have any ideas on what you would like to see in our show, you can join us and send them to us at WNEM 4 pm news at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4 pm news spotlight.